Sony has well-known problems with their PlayStation 5 controllers, stick drift being the most popular issue. STICK DRIFT! Unfortunately, this issue has plagued many, and with me, it's a common problem, even with my recent one I started using in February. Luckily, since I bought it in November last year, it's still under warranty, so I thought I could just send it in to get fixed. It seemed like a super easy process. Then, I got to customer service. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! Though I will get to what Sony's scam actually is, I first need to talk about their customer service and how bad it is because it does tie into my theory. I went from chat to chat, going through various PlayStation experts and multiple phone calls. I had an issue. With just a few months of use, the gray text on the back of my Cosmic Red controller is barely readable, so I could not read the serial number on it, and my box was long gone. I was looking for a way to get around this issue until finally I had my answer. There is no solution. Customer service said I cannot send it in for repair without my serial number. I said surely this cannot be correct as I have proof of purchase and it's under warranty. There must be some other process or information they can take. Yet there is nothing Sony could do. After a full day of customer service interaction, I got nowhere. As I researched further, Sony smartly addresses my situation in their warranty in subsection F, where it says their warranty will not apply if the serial number has been altered, defaced, or removed. Intentional or unintentional, it does not matter. Luckily, after buying a magnifying glass and using liquid to make the text easier to read, I had my serial number, which I submitted. All I had to do now was fill out this contact info page, but then I encountered an error saying, oops, your location doesn't allow us to proceed with the request. And then it prompted me to select the correct region, as what I put in for the info is apparently being detected as a region not in the United States. The problem persisted no matter what I tried, and after going through customer service for half a day, they were finally able to manually input everything. After this experience, I thought enough was enough. Maybe I'll finally pull the trigger on the DualSense Edge Pro controller, as I can swap out the analog sticks if there is a stick drift issue. It's expensive, but it's more of a guarantee I'll never have to go through this hell again or have to buy another controller. And then with more research, it turns out the stick modules, which start at a grotesque $20 per stick, have been out of stock everywhere, all the time. At that moment, a realization set in. Sony is allegedly running the greatest scam ever. Sony has constructed a controller where a person cannot easily get to the analog sticks, arguably the greatest point of failure in a controller. Even after getting to the sticks, to replace or fix them would be even more difficult and risky. Doing this also voids the warranty if it's still under it. If you cannot fix the sticks yourself, then it leaves you with two options. Get a new controller or have Sony fix it. If it's out of warranty, having Sony fix it is way too expensive, so realistically getting a new controller is what you would do. If it is under warranty, like mine, Sony has seemingly gone out of their way to make it as hard as possible to successfully submit a warranty claim. They do not fix common errors on their customer service site which were problems years ago, and they have you go in circles even with correct information. Ultimately, if you do not have everything they want in a process they made complex on purpose, you are out of luck. This then prompts you to take the easy way out and just buy a new controller. But hold on, my most recent controller is a newer release, being the cosmic red color. Yet they still have not fixed the stick drift issue, years after they received a class action lawsuit against them over the stick drift problems. Thus, even if you buy a new controller, it's a matter of time before you're back in the same situation. All the while, Sony is essentially forcing people to buy controller after controller since they make the process terrible and won't fix the root cause of the stick drift issue. At this point, you are right where they want you. You either keep buying controllers or you spend three times the amount of money to get the DualSense Edge which solves the issue. Except, brilliantly, it does not solve anything. In order to switch out the sticks in the DualSense Edge, you need to buy stick modules. These stick modules are out of stock everywhere and in the past few months have only been in stock on the PlayStation website where they sell out almost instantly. The reason this is happening is quite simple. Sony has not made nearly enough stick modules and I would argue they've done this on purpose. The percentage of people with the Pro Controller is low and stick drift usually occurs only in one stick. This means Sony really shouldn't have an issue keeping up with demand. So being constantly sold out seems to be a strategic tactic on Sony's end. Now if you've invested in the Pro Controller and of stick issues, you either pay a huge premium on eBay for stick modules or do what Sony wants you to do, buy another controller. It's a great scam. 
<clears throat> I mean business strategy. You do not fix a well-known issue, have horrible customer service and glitches preventing warranty claims, make people buy more flawed controllers, and have your premium controller not actually solve the issue because you chose not to make enough stick replacements. Pretty much the only meaningful accessory to the pro controller. I would love to be hopeful and say they'll fix the issue, that they are not actually scamming people. But given what's currently happening, it's just wishful thinking. We're more than halfway through the PlayStation 5's life cycle, and this problem still has not gone away or gotten better. If anything, it's worse. Sony knows exactly what is going on and loves it. Unfortunately, that sucks for everyone else. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.